Can I ask you about what is, what's your name? Uh, my name's Jeannie Yucknello. Uh, yeah. And the team that you play for? Um, I play for my local club. It's a small village side called New Ash Green, which is in Kent. Okay. Um, so can you tell us a bit more about women's rugby, um, deaf women's rugby as well? Uh, the England deaf men have been established for some time and us being women we wanted in on it. So um, over the last few years it's, they've been trying to sort of start it off. It really took off last year in September we had, um, we did like, they did like a boot camp at RAF Bryce Norton and some of the girls went along because we didn't have, we only had four or five players. So we went along to Bryce Norton and we had a, sort of a training weekend and the culmination of the weekend was a mixed um, sevens tournament with some teams from the RAF. And it kind of, I, I was part of that and it kind of gave us the bug to, to do more. Um, we've got varied levels of deafness within our team. Girls, Personally, um, I am deaf in both ears but I, I wear hearing aids and I look read. But um, I don't know socially, I don't know any other deaf people, so it's kind of a social thing as well. It's the only time I meet up with people that kind of understand being deaf. So myself and a, an Iowa player called Bex um, basically took the ball by the horns and we negotiated with the, the, the guys that run England Deaf Rugby Union that if we got sort of the team up and running that they'd sort of share up, share some of the facilities with us and support us a little bit more. So. In September we had four or five players and today we've, in the last four months we've managed to kind of gain a bit of momentum, get some more players and we've actually got 20 and we've brought um, 18 down today to play uh, Cardiff at Cardiff Arms Park. Um, historically there's always been an England versus Wales match between the England deaf and Welsh deaf. Um, and we were trying to do the opposite, but um, unfortunately the Welsh deaf couldn't get the deaf side out. So um, we've basically opted to play for a, a, a play a Welsh team. So we ended up playing Penalty today. That's great. The game. Um, so have you enjoyed being here in Cardiff Arms Park? Yeah, it's been awesome. Awesome. Great. Yeah, I think every, 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 no one can stop smiling. Oh, that's great. So. Do you think it'll help get more interest and support? Yeah, for... definitely. I mean, it's, it's women's rugby anyway. It's difficult to get. Um, it's difficult to get players. Obviously, his. It's not a sport that all women will play, it can be quite physical, there's contact, people are worried about damaging their nails and getting broken bones and black eyes. Obviously if you add into that, uh, trying to find people that want to do that and are deaf, um, it, it is quite difficult. So um, things like this are just absolutely crucial to us as we can get publicity and the more we publicise the more players we can get. The more players we have, the better squad we can have and the better we'll do. And the aim for us is ultimately to be playing international games in the same way that the, England, uh, the, the men are. That's but, um, brilliant. That's the plan. Good luck and well done and thank you very much.